Okie dokie, time for another game of Pokemon. Okay, looking at the hand, I'm going to lead to Cleffa and set up the Basculin. So, Cleffa. Um, yeah, oh, yesterday I was looking and I saw the thing on Penny Arcade about the, uh, ocean marketing. So, I, I'm probably not going to link in the description to it, but I might, um, but I'm, if, if you go to Penny Arcade, it's probably going to be on the homepage for a little while. Uh, yeah, okay, so he went tails and he went first, and that happens, and he put Tynamo out, even though it's, it's not, it's not a good, that's, it, it's basically, uh, just as killable as Cleffa. It's it's more killable than Cleffa. I, I don't know why he put, uh, I, I don't know why he did that. That's a misput. I, Tynamo and, I don't know, the other Tynamo could probably handle it, but that Tynamo should never at any point be, uh, non-benched, like, in the combat zone. It, it's, it's just not a good place for it. Um, oh yeah, so anyways, so basically, the thing with Ocean Marketing and Penny Arcade was, there was this guy named Dave, and he ordered this new controller, or two of them, uh, he pre-ordered the controller, and then the company that makes it, uh, they missed their release date, and I mean, that happens a lot, I mean, that, that kind of thing just happens, um, I mean, he did get slightly angry about it, uh, no, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna end my turn, uh, Okay, and I stay asleep and don't take damage, so that's good. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so then uh, he emails them. He's like, what's up, bro? Because, I mean, yeah, that kind of thing happens. Uh, although normally when that kind of thing happens, like, they hadn't even said they had missed their release date. Their release date just passed, and nothing, no one knew anything about it. So he emailed them. And the guy replied back, December 17th, and he's like, what is that, what does that mean? Uh, and he, so, they started emailing back and forth, and then the one, the guy at the marketing system wasn't making sense all the time, uh, so then Dave started to get frustrated. Cool, I woke up. The switch. Um, yeah, so Dave starts getting frustrated. Alright, and how much can you do? You can do ten. Yeah, alright. Alright, right, yeah, I'll retreat out Cleffa into Basculin, who is now fully charged. Mm. I don't really feel like um using Final Gambit, because I might kill myself. Yeah, and flail, um, flail involves, it only does damage, it's kind of like Outrage on Rush Rom or Zekrom, except it does, it's just, uh, ten times however many damage counters, so if he doesn't have any, it doesn't do anything. Oh, god. Alright, oh, jeez. Okay, well, I was worried that might happen. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, he's, uh, Pokemon communicating. Away, Fracture. Alright, bye-bye, Fracture. And, uh, what's he gonna get? Um, but anyway, so it starts getting, uh, heated, uh, between the two people emailing. And Electros, oh god. That thing, I don't, I, uh, Arguably, Electric is better because of the, uh, Dynamotor ability. Yeah, okay, bye, Basculin. So I probably should have, uh, gone for the final gambit last time, but whatever, I didn't. Um, alright. So I'm gonna send Cleffa back out. I'll play a War Turtle. And then I'm going to, uh,. I'll put this energy on Wartortle. Then I'm going to N. 
and that'll get rid of my hand, and I'll draw six, and I'll get rid of his hand, and he'll draw five. Uh, the benefit to that being that he obviously drew his electric la or his electros last turn, and looking at my hand here, I'll put down my reap, uh, and then I think I'll eek again, because I mean it's not a great hand. All right, there's another energy, a potion, Ampharos. All right, so I can handle this. Alright, I uh, don't wake up, so that's a bonus, probably, yeah, no, that's a bonus. Alright, Adino, another Tynamo going down, Blitzel going down, and Carablast evolving into Excavalier, blah, blah, blah. So this guy, I think this might actually just be one of the Noble Victories theme decks. Uh, I know there is one with this dude, and um, some Lightning types. Uh, during your next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon is reduced by 20. And flip two coins, and that's 70 times the number of heads. Uh, that's pretty... That, that can be uh, quite threatening. There's an Emolga. Alright, so... Interesting deck going on here. Got... He, yeah, there goes the Emolga. Um... Yeah. Alright. So looking at this setup now, I'm going to see if I can hit the, uh, I've never won, or I, I might have hit, I think I hit that once actually, I might have actually done that in the video. Uh, I'll play down Chinchu, I'll play down Adino, and then I'll, um, I'll start charging Adino. I feel that's my safest bet. Yeah. And then I'll, uh, I'll eek the hand again. There's an oak's theory. Alright, look, at, I got Flaffy this time. Another oak. Alright, so I'll probably evolve into Flaffy, oak the hand, and possibly re-eek next turn. Um, so it starts getting heated. They start, uh, at one point, um, Dave sends, uh, a fairly passionate email. Uh, it had some, uh, uh, it was slightly overpassionate at times, but it did have valid concerns. But then the guy at Ocean's Marketing, Chris something, uh, sends him back something, essentially just calling him a child. He's saying he's acting extremely childish. And it was just bizarre. Okay. Ooh, alright. I'm actually really liking this hand now. I'm gonna start charging you up. Oh, shit. I might end up having to... I don't feel like losing, um, Cleffa. I might kill Chinchu instead. Uh, because I do a free retreat. How much damage does this guy do? 50. I could also just try and tank it with someone. Um, or I could also go down the Blastoise line. I'll, I think I'll go, uh, I think I'll take the, yeah, I'm going to fodder out Chinchu instead of Cleffa. Because, yeah. But I don't feel like eking this hand, so I'm just going to end my turn and let him kill Cleffa. Or let him kill Chinchu. Uh, next turn, I'm going to... Fisher, uh, depends if I draw mana not, or not. If I, uh, don't draw mana, yeah, okay. So if I don't draw mana, I'm going to Fisher some mana. Put one, uh, I have to wait for that to resolve, and I'm going to put it on Flaffy. Um, yeah. So I'll put this on Flaffy. Oh, yeah, Chinchu lived that, didn't he? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, how much is Audino's Retreat? Two. Oh, yeah. Uh, I said I was going to fodder out Chinchu. I'm, I think I will fodder out Chinchu still. Got another Squirtle, but I'll save Bench Space. If I get it, I don't know what I'll save it for, but I don't feel like putting Squirtle down. Um, See, so looking, the potion will come in handy later. I could Great Ball something. I could, uh. 
It doesn't really matter. A great ball. See what I get. Yeah, I'll take the. Actually, I'll take the Blastoise. Okay. Come to me, Blastoise. So now I can charge up um, Ampharos and Blastoise. Uh, Ampharos's acceleration bolt will be useful for charging Blastoise. Um, because once I get him out, it's like he's dangerous to use against an electric deck, of course. Uh, he does have 130 HP, but that goes down pretty quick against double damage. Um, so after the, uh, after Chris sends Dave an email calling him childish and a bunch of other stuff, and he just starts name-dropping people, he, no, that comes later, actually. So then Dave sends the email chain to a bunch of different, uh, companies like IGN and Kotaku and Penny Arcade. Um, so then... Uh, after that, uh, Chris sends Dave an e email being like, wow, thanks for the free PR, dude. All, uh, sarcastic and stuff. And it's sarcastic to the point you can tell he's being sarcastic through an email because he's saying, wow, you tried to, uh, smear me with a bunch of important people and PR and stuff, so I'm not scared of what you can do and stuff. And essentially he's just completely disrespecting him. Uh, alright, so, go, you, another elm, I'll play down that, and I'll accept an Ampharos, okay, as soon as that resolves I'm gonna throw down Ampharos, I'll probably put a blue on him, but then I'm gonna acceleration bolt, yeah, so Ampharos, because Electric has 90 health, so I could Thunder for 80 and risk damaging myself, but I'd rather, um, how much energy does this guy have? One. So he's not even charged yet, so I'd rather Acceleration Bolt this turn, and then next turn Thunder, and it just makes it, I don't know, it just seems wiser, and I can, uh, charge Blastoise with acceleration bolts because his attack requires four and returns two to my hand so he's a little um... he's a little dangerous to it's nice to have him charged significantly before i send him out uh... he has his pokey power washout which uh... lets me move uh... water energies between my bench pokemon and stuff so i could take the one off audino uh... but still uh, it's not enough to actually, like, count on. Oh, he retreated out. How, um, entertaining. Into Tynamo. Who I can kill easily. Oh, I understand. He's trying to, uh... He wants to turn that into an Electros. Oh, how much health does this guy have? 90. How much energy do you have? 3. Okay. So. Switch. Oh, okay. Oh, he's gonna try and guard press me. Oh god, I hope he doesn't succeed. If he doesn't succeed, I'm gonna switch into Blastoise and kill him. Uh, actually, he is Steel type, so I might just want to do that. And but he's in, it's a hard decision because Blastoise isn't charged up enough to actually maintain that. Oh no! Oh, he's Twin Needling. Oh Jesus! All right, I didn't even realize he had that much energy. Okay. Um, at this point, I'm going to interviewer's question. Here's another blue. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there's that. Don't have a switch, so he's going to be in there for the, uh, He's going to be in there for the long haul, I think. So I'll put this blue here. I'll uh, retreat out, discarding a uh, yellow, because so I can move the blue off him onto Blastoise later. Um, and then since he twin needled, I can Hydro Launcher for 100 on this guy. So he's down. 
Yay. And I still have, because I have the two blues on the bench, I still have two turns of that, so I can take out his, uh, this guy, but I'll take a lot of damage off of his next, uh, energy ball. Oh, shit. And if that thing, oh god, it might be able to kill me. It can definitely kill me. It, Blastoise is going down. Uh, there's a Drud again. Alright, so that was good luck. Um, if he hadn't evolved this turn, that thing would have died. Uh, had he stayed in as Tynamo instead of switching into Escav, blah, 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 I would have switched into this guy and his washout can, or not wash out, his uh, Hydro Cannon can target benched guys, and I would have taken that guy down, but I just didn't get a chance to it right in time. So, hell. Oh, he didn't attack? But he still has that much health. I don't have a switch in hand. This guy is a uh, three retreat. Um. Mm. Let's see, 110 health. So yeah, 30 plus 80 would do it. Um. Oh God. And he will, if I don't retreat out. No, I don't want to use the. Uh, don't want to use blue, I'm going to use yellow on you. No, undo that move. Oh god, misclick! Oh my god. Wow, that was misclick. I meant to do undo last action, uh, throw the energy on this guy, wash out the energy off this guy, retreat into this guy, and then hit him. Instead, I threw an energy on the guy who's about to get one shot and ended the turn. Oh my god, that was a misplay. Oh god. I think that was probably a game-losing misclick. But I think he misclicked last turn when he didn't attack anyone. Oh no, he, uh... Oh, because he retreated out so he doesn't have any, uh, energy. Right. I still could have attacked last turn. So let me think. Looking at this guy, he can, uh, Acid for 30, which, uh, can't retreat. Okay. So... Oh, right, okay. So I already played that down. I can still wash out off of Adino, and then um, then I can Hydro Launcher. You. And uh, next turn I can uh, throw down another blue and take a blue off of Ampharos. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, blue on you. Although, actually, he doesn't, uh... Yeah, I'll just do that. And then I'll attack again. Now I'm just gonna kill the Electros before it can get out of hand. Uh, I am gonna have to... I, I would say it's gonna be a good plan for... Soon I should, uh, retreat into Ampharos. Uh, and then I can use Acceleration Bolt to try and recharge uh, Blastoise. There's Emolga. Uh, how much damage does he have on him? Yeah, and I can potion off all that damage. Oh. Um, so I have two turns. I should actually try and snipe out that Electros. If at all possible. Emolga can do how much damage? Uh, ten... Uh, 60. But he put the energy there. And there's an Axew. I don't, I wonder why this guy is so into Electros. It's, I'm deeply confused at his, at this man. Um, yeah. I hope he doesn't get to evolve again. Uh, I don't have any way to make him get rid of his hand. Mm, looking here, I could charge up another War Turtle, but I don't. Yeah, I, I, uh, besides potioning off Amphros, um, not really worried about anything, and I still might end up rather uh, wanting to potion off uh, on Blastoise. Because if that thing hits me for 60, I can potion it off. Next turn, I can hit the Electric. Does this thing have free retreat? No. 
So unless he switches out, I'm pretty safe. Uh, if he does switch out, I'll take a hundred. Wait, what did he? Oh right, he dynamotored himself. Ah, uh, he evolved there. Okay, yeah, so... I don't know why he put all of those energies on electric, but... It's... Oh, wait. I have so many spare energies in hand. I'm gonna get rid of a lightning one. And there's a lantern, another energy, a switch, and a dynamo. Okay, so dynamo play you, then I'm going to Hydro Launcher via Electric, and kill that. So there's that. Um, oh, back to the story about Ocean's Marketing. That got way off topic. Uh, so yeah, after that, but then uh, when Penny Arcade got the email, they were so enraged that Mark Kukukulagulovich uh, emailed uh, Chris and told him he was permanently banned from any uh, Penny Arcade Expos or PACs, which are actually uh, kind of popular events. Did I get another Engineer's Adjustments? Oh, I did. Also, I got a Mareep, but um, I'm going to Engineer's Adjustments away this Lightning Energy. Some Mareep, a Tynamo, Oak. Actually, I should stop drawing. Um, yeah, I have eight cards in deck. I kind of didn't notice that. Uh, next turn I'll oak and draw six. Don't worry about it. I got this under control. Um, so I'm going to, uh, potion off Ampharos. I don't want to deck myself, but I'm getting kind of close to doing that. Then I'm going to, uh, additionally potion off on Ampharos. Uh, then I'm going to play Electric. It's the same guy he's been doing. I'm not going to put any energy on it because he only has one thing use doing, useful, and that is Dynamotor, which uh, takes an Electric from the discard and puts it somewhere. At which point, point, I still get to play my energy for the turn, which is going on Blastoise. I'm going to switch out. I, I pressed switch, didn't I? Yeah, there it goes. Into Ampharos. Um, yeah, at which point, I'm just gonna acceleration bolt. Yay. Okay, there's uh, no basics left, which isn't surprising considering my hand. And I'll put all of the, uh, all zero basics on Blastoise. And, yeah. So I, I definitely need to be careful. I hope he doesn't have a card that makes me draw like eight times, but I don't think that that card exists. I think the only thing that is running around right now that could make me draw would be a um, an N, and that would only make me draw three, and it would basically... It'd be, it'd be better than... Oh, those are both elms. There's my oak. Okay, good. I do have an oak. So those are all going back in the deck. Um, yeah. There, and then I draw six, which is a nice amount. It's not too high and it's not too low. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to acceleration bolt again. Some blues. Okay. On to Blastoise. I could put them anywhere, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I could put them on uh, Audino and then take them to Blastoise when needed, which is less risky for like catcher bait or something. So I I don't I don't think he has one of those, but it's a uh, less risk. It's just uh, as a general rule of thumb that seems like a better play. And Dynamotor. Yeah, it's time to Dynamotor. Oh, I can only go to Benched. Okay, I'll put that on Audino. Um, then Blue on Audino. Then Finishing Acceleration Bolt. 
There's still only two, so I should not acceleration bolt anymore. On to Audino. So at this point, I actually could just start Audino sweeping, I think. Um, depending, maybe if he goes into an electric type, I'll actually switch into Audino, who uh, has six energy. So that's up to 40 times 6. That could be up to 240 damage. Uh, here's Drudigan. 100 health. I, th I think I'll Hydro Launcher. Drudigan down. There's Durant. I don't know what he's up to. Uh, I, yeah, I'm just going to go and Hydro Launcher Drudigan. Put that on Ampharos. Uh, so then I can keep Ampros uh, charged in this retreat into Blastoise. Um, and then I'll Dynamotor. You're actually already fully charged onto Aldino, I guess. And then I'm going to... Uh... Hold on. Yeah, as often as you like. So yeah, I'll Hydro Launcher. And I'll take out Dread again. I will take 20 in that, I think. Just from his uh, rough skin. He basically has a built-in Rocky helmet. Um, But it works. Oh god, I thought I was going to lose there for a bit. But he switched around weird. I don't know why he retreated into... He paid energy to retreat into Dynamo, then played a switch into uh, the Steel guy. Did he do a draw card? I'll have to rewatch this. No, he's going to agility... All right. Uh, flip a coin if it's... Oh, wow. It wouldn't actually matter. In fact, for the sake of this game, I'm just going to pretend he got a heads on that, which means... uh. I can't damage him. I think that's what it said. So let me look at Blitzel. Uh, agility. Flip a coin if heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. That's actually a pretty solid lead. I don't know how good, um, what's it called, the next version is. Uh, but, um, so I'm going to wash out. Uh, yeah that blue and I'm gonna uh, I could keep washing out actually but since I have to keep clicking I don't feel like it is a waste of time uh, and then it's hydro launcher so I can snipe anyone so even I'm just like for the sake of this argument he got a heads and then I hydro launchered him um, yeah so then the leader of packs um, permanently banned him from all packs uh, then he posted the email change on the homepage of Penny Arcade for everyone to see, and that's where I saw it. And it was it was outrageous. You should look that up. Just go to Penny Arcade, and I, it should be on the homepage still, depending on when you're watching this, actually. If you watch it, like, when it comes out, clearly it's more topical than going through the archives later. Um, uh, yeah, so that was weird. Um... Ooh, let's look at the stats. This is something I've been meaning to do before. Alright, so I took 16 minutes to think. He only took 11. I took all six prize cards, and he took two. Um, but then Chris, the guy at Ocean Marketing, got fired. And apparently he's receiving threats to him and his family. And I think that's really messed up. I mean, asshole PR guy, yeah. Um, but you don't need to threaten his family. God, I... Oh, God, I, I, it's hard to wrap my head around that part. Ooh, and I dealt 720 damage, and he only dealt 280. I healed 80, he healed 0. Uh, our biggest attacks were both 100. Uh, he played 9 energy, and I played 19, so... It's a little, I, I played a lot more energy than he did. Um, let's see. And, but it was, it's just so weird. The, the whole email chain is just insane. Just look, I might... Uh, I'm probably not going to get around to posting a link in the description. I might. I'll, I'll see. Just check the description. There may or may not be a link. Who knows? Uh, but it was just bizarre. And it, the, the weirdest thing is that he's a professional PR guy. And 
he behaved the way he did and just made fun of people and a customer it was and then he starts name dropping and says he knows the mayor of Boston I don't even know how that's applicable but he said it and apparently he thought it would hold sway but it didn't <sighs> so yeah my my MVP was Blastoise clearly his was electric uh yeah, I'd, I'd say his MVP was Electric, but he didn't really have a valuable player at all. Because Electric is only good for its Dynamotor ability, and he barely used it. Like, that is the use for Electric, taking Electric cards out of, or electric energy out of the discard pile. He was trying to attack with it and evolve it, but it's better as a Stage 1 than a Stage 2. So I'd, I'd, his plan was uh, super shaky there. Um... So yeah, Chris got fired, and but the fact he's just a professional PR guy, and I, he thought that would be good PR, and now people hate him. It, it'll be hard for him to get another job after all this. I mean, people will be like, "You're the, the that was the worst PR I've ever seen." But oh god. So yeah, I just ranted while you watched while you looked at a stat screen that you probably can't read, but I showed you some highlights. So yay! Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.